Right, hello everyone and welcome to this new video on the channel. So today I'm going to be doing my first lot of predictions for this season. And we're going to start off with the NCEL. So we're going to be doing both the Premier Division and Division 1 in this video. So just before we get into it, obviously I know the league pretty well, but I don't know absolutely everything about every team. And like I say, there's a lot of different stuff going on through pre-season. So... This is just for a bit of fun to be fair, just see how accurate I can get by the end of the season. So if I've predicted your team to do worse than you think, then don't take it too seriously. It's just for a bit of fun. So anyway, we're going to go through these pretty quick. I'm going to try not to go into too much detail with each one. So we're going to start off with Division 1. So let's get into it. Okay, so with 23 teams in Division 1, uh, we're going to start off at the bottom with 23rd place. And I have gone for Ollerton Town. So... They've been in a bit of free fall last year. They had a lot of issues with a lot of the players going to Shybrook and stuff like that. And I don't know a lot about it. I know we've got a new manager and they've got a lot of new players. But it's, you know, it's how much have you actually been able to rebuild. Because at the end of the last season, we were losing by like 7, 8, 9 every game. And even sometimes double figures. So, you know, a lot of damage has been done. And are they going to be able to repair all that damage? It's going to be hard to see. But we also wanted to move... Um, a lateral move to the United Counties League so they didn't have to travel because they're quite southern for the NCEL um, but unfortunately they didn't get that so it's going to be a lot of travelling and it's going to be a tough year for Alton I think but like I say I could be proved wrong but I've gone for them to finish bottom and also going down with Alton in second bottom I've got Aversley so they've been a team that's been at the bottom of pretty much every division since Covid uh, they got relegated from the Premier Division finishing bottom two seasons ago last season they finished bottom however Hall Green United got um retired from the league before um before the season started so technically they finished in bottom um and there was saved on points per game for finishing second bottom but I think the luck's going to run out this year I do think they'll be getting relegated this year unfortunately and joining them it was quite a tough one between between three teams here to pick the last relegation spot. But in the end, I've gone for Claycross Town. I think, like I say, I think the jump up, I think they are going to struggle with it. And I think they will be going straight back down unless they're saved on points per game. Okay, so next up, we're going to go through them pretty quickly. In 20th place, I have One Well Town. They finished fifth in the Sheffield and Helmshire Premier Division. However, none of the other four above them either applied for ground grading or the Thelva ground grading. So they went up as the highest place team that passed for ground grading so it's gonna be interesting i originally had them going down but i have just saved them 19th place Lauf town bit of an unknown to be fair i don't know a lot about Lauf, um but uh, they look they've had some decent results pre-season i know you can't really base everything off pre-season but um you know i think they'll have enough to survive but we'll have to wait and see 18th place i've gone swollenness they're always one of them teams that are around around the relegation places but i think they'll just have enough to survive and in 17th place i have gone with nostal miners welfare 16th place we have glass alton welfare and then 15th place we have Wordsborough bridge athletic 14th place we have parkgate i think they've made a few decent new signings and they had a bit of good form at the end of last season which helped them survive and get a bit of distance from the relegation zone so i think they'll carry that on next year and have a decent season 30th place i've gone for arm for welfare and then in 12th place we have drumfield town 11th place i have gone with selby town 10th place i've gone with yorkshire amateur um it's it's pretty tough one they had a dire season last year in the division above finishing bottom and the season before that they got demoted due to failing the ground grading so it's an hard one to tell how they're actually going to doing um, in the division below. I really don't have a clue, but we're going to have to wait and see. Ninth place, we have Stavely Miners Welfare. I believe this is the first season that they can get promoted because they couldn't last season. They finished in fifth in the playoff, but um, they couldn't take part due to voluntary relegation. But I think this is the first season they are allowed to go up, but I'm not 100% positive on that, so we'll have to wait and see. In 8th place, we have Horbury Town, losing player finalists to my NCL team, Rosenton, Maine. It's going to be interesting. Like I said, I think they came in 6th last year. I've put them two places lower in 8th just because I think it is a stronger division this year. But it's, you know, they could easily finish in playoff place. I think, like I say, the top few could finish in any order. 7th, I've gone Beverly. They look a decent team. But, you know, 
they score a lot, but they concede a lot, I think, as well, especially in pre-season. But I think they're going to be a stronger team, like I say, last year with a first year in the NCL. So I think we're going to push on quite a bit and get a pretty good finish. And then just missing out on the playoffs and actually just missing out again after last season, I've got Retford FC. They came in seventh place last year, missing out on the final day to Horbury Town on the playoffs uh, because Stavely couldn't take part. So whoever finished in sixth got the playoff place. They were in sixth up until the last day when Horbury overtook them. So... Yeah, I think we're just going to miss out again. Like I say, that top five is extremely strong this year. And I think it's going to be Redford FC who just miss out. So moving on to the playoff places now. So in fifth place, I've got Brig Town. Now, Brig looked really strong a couple of years ago. Uh, they lost to Harrogate Railway in the semi-finals two years ago. And I thought, like I say, I thought if North February weren't in playoffs, they'd have been the team that got promoted. However, Harrogate did beat them and they had a bit of a fall off last year. Uh, not finishing as high as they'd want to, but I think they'll come back strong this year. They've looked to have a decent pre-season, but they've made a few good initial signs as well. So I think they'll be back up there, and I think they will get a playoff place. In fourth place, we have a team that finished second last year. We have Harrogate Railway. I think they'll be. I think they'll be up there again. They've been up there the last few years. Um, like I say, I think they'll really want to get out of this division and into the Premier Division. But I think they will drop a couple of places and finish in fourth and in third place honestly these could finish absolutely anywhere but i think we are going to have a really good season i've gone for retford united like i say i've got the money backed behind them they've got a really good squad really good support and i think they're going to have a really good first season back in the ncel so it's going to be interesting to see how retford united do however i've got them finishing in third and in second place, this team has made a massive jump up the table. However, they have really got some good players on their hands and they took a lot of faults in the last year. I've gone up for Shirebrook Town. I think they're going to be a really strong team this year. Like If you look at the pre-season as well, they've been scoring goals for fun. And I think they're going to continue that into the league. Like I say, they've made a lot of signings. They've really pushed the belt out to get the players they need. And I think it's going to play off. And winning the NCL and getting promoted to the Premier, I have gone for Wakefield. I did, you know, you never know these, but they've got the money, they've got the fan base. They look really good when I saw them. Um, they look like, like I said, they've got a lot of new players. And once they get time to gel, I think they're going to be a really strong team. But like I say, anyone could finish anywhere at this level. But I have gone for Wakefield winning the league. Okay, moving on to the Premier Division now. And I don't know as much about this league as I do Division 1 because my team wasn't to main. I've been in Division 1 ever since I started watching him. Uh, now I'm in the Prem, so I'm going to give it a go. Like I say, I might be quite a bit off, but we'll see what happens. It's just a bit of fun, like I say. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because, honestly, I don't know as much, but I'm just going to have some fun, try and get them as close as I can and see if I can get the least amount of points at the end of the season. So bottom two going down. In 20th place, I have Botsford Town. And in 19th place, I have a team that has... Move laterally over to this division. I have gone with Pickering Town. I think they're going to struggle. They only just survived by the skin of a teeth last year. But, you know, they've not had a great preseason so far. And I think they are going to get relegated to Division 1. Just missing out on relegation um, in a good way. I've gone with Maltby Main. I think, I know we've lost a lot of players, but we look to be doing all right in preseason. Uh, I think they'll just have enough to survive. But I'm going to be keeping an eye on them to see how they do. Also, just surviving, I've got Eccles Hill United. Um, they finished second a few years ago, but they had a bit of a disappointing season last season. And yeah, I just think they're going to be down there by the end of the season. In 16th, I have got Fackley. 15th, I have Handsworth. And then in 14th, I had Frickley Athletic. Frickley were a difficult team to predict because they've made a few signings and a few good ones as well. So I think they'll do better than last year. However, I don't think... They're going to be up at the playoff places. I think a decent mid-table finish, and then they'll try and kick on the season after that. 13th place, I've got Goole. Now, these actually originally did get relegated to Division 1. However, Hemsworth fell the ground grading, so they got demoted, and Goole have took the place back in the Premier Division. But they made some good signings. They signed um, one of Hemsworth's like, main striker after they... Um, <laughs> after they got demoted, so uh, they've 
took him off their hands. And we've also signed uh, Liam Flanagan from Silvertown, who is a really good striker at this level. So I think they'll have a better season this year, and I think they'll be a few places higher. And then in 12th place, I have Albion Sports, and then 11th place. There we are to predict where these are going to finish, but it's my team, Rosen to Main. So I'm not trying to be biased. I do think Rosso will have a good good year at this level for the first season ever at this level. I think we've got some really good young players and then we've also got the experienced heads as well, such as your Ross Hannas, your Greg Youngs, who can really help the youngsters and really get the best out of them. And then you've just got, you know, the experience on the pitch um, just for like in them big crunch matches where you need an experienced head to keep everyone calm and get through the match. So yeah, I think a good mid-table season for Rosso and I think they'll be very happy with that. Then 10th place, I have Nairsborough Town. 9th place, I have Silsden. And then 8th place, I have gone for last year's Division 1 winners, Campion. So I think they'll be a good team. They'll look a really strong team. Like I say, they pretty much walked Division 1 last year. And I think they will they could even finish either than this, to be fair. Like, it wouldn't surprise me at all if they got into the top five. But I've gone with them in 8th in eighth place. I think they'll, um, like I say, they'll have a really strong year. And it's going to be interesting to watch them throughout the season. In seventh place, I've got Hallam. They look really good when I watched them against Wakefield. And I think they'll definitely be up there. Like I say, that top lot is going to be extremely tough. But I think they'll just miss out on the playoffs. But I think they'll be they'll be around there all season. But I think at the end, they will just miss out. And then in sixth place, a very hard team to predict with them getting relegated last year. I've gone for Tag Castro Albion. They've, um, I think they've signed some decent players, but... You know, you never know when you get relegated. Anything can happen. Like I say, you can lose a lot of players. The momentum's, you know, going downwards. So is that going to drip into the next season? I mean, look at Yorkshire Amateur last year. After their ground grading, they lost a lot of players and hardly got a point. But, you know, it's it's really hard to predict. I've gone sick, just missing out on the playoff sport. Like I say, they could be a lot higher, but they could also be in trouble. You just never know. Okay, moving into the playoffs now. In fifth place, I've gone for Penniston Church. Decent team, they're always up and around there. Like I say, if they've had playoffs for the last few seasons, better been in it both seasons. But this year, I think they'll actually get to have a chance of the playoffs and a chance of getting promoted to step four. Fourth place, I've got Barton Town, another strong team who's been up around the top for the last few seasons. Uh, I think, like I say, with these playoffs, it's going to be a big incentive for the teams to really push on at the end of the season. Because we're only having your second place, it's like, Teams in like fourth and fifth could be out of it quite a bit before, before the end of the season and have just a load of dead rubbers at the end. But uh, with having up to fifth with someone to play for, it's going to make it a lot more open and a lot more exciting. So I think Barton will be one of the teams that were up there and I'm really looking forward to seeing how they do. Okay, top three now. So in third, I've gone with Golke United. Like I say, I don't know a lot about these teams. Golke look a decent team. We got to the cup final last year, losing to Winston. And I think they're going to continue their good run and finish in third place. Okay, I've got the top two now. So only two teams left. So in second place and finishing top of the playoffs, I have gone for Garth of Town. These, I've watched them twice and they look a very good team both times I've watched them. <laughs> and uh, typically they've lost both games I've watched them as well, but they have looked a really good team. They're always there or thereabouts near the top and we've been lucky a few times not to finish in the playoffs but I think this year we will get a playoff place and we'll have a very good chance of winning the playoffs and going up to step four and finally the winners of the NCL Premier Division I have gone with Emily I think they're a, they're a very strong team for this level they've got a really good setup really good fan base and I think they're going to be the ones who win it I don't think they have the strongest pre-season so far but I think when it comes to the business, I think they will be a really strong team. I think they'll have a very good season and I think they'll win the Premier Division. But anyway, there are my predictions for both leagues. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Let me know if I've got any spot on, if you think any are going to be miles out. Just remember, though, it is a bit of fun. I don't know a hell of a lot about most of these teams. Some I know nothing at all about. So just take it with a pinch of salt if I put your team doing worse than you think. And it's just a bit of fun, like I say. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. Let's see how we do at the end of the year. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Getting close to 900 and then we'll be ready to 1,000. But until the next video, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.